Hi, and welcome to Robin's Quest. I was giving it some thought the other day about tramming the mill in. I have trammed it um, on the X axis, but I've not really done too much on the Y. And I had a bit of a fiddle the other day, and I think probably 12,000 now. Mm, that's quite a lot. So I got thinking how I could do a bigger area. And uh, somebody rocked up the other day <coughs> with these. Grand spanking new. Never been on a pair of them. And nobody's got a clue what they fit. The manufacturer's number's on the box. And the person works for the dealership. And the numbers obviously been printed around the box, and nobody knows. And the cat's in the cross, re cross a reference. And so I thought, right, if I could run around here, this has got to be quite square. And when I started messing around, I seemed to think this and this a little bit out of wad. So I thought, what I'd do, I'd drop it on the Jones and Shipman like this, and I'll skim it off. Then that way, this side. will be parallel to underneath. Therefore, I can put that onto the table and I can work round it. Either across it on the Y, an X, or just work round it. Well, I thought it's worth a go. So, over to the Jones and Shipman, see if we can set it up. We'll give it a go. Just giving it a light clean. This is brake clean, I think. I don't think, I know it is. Well, there's always something comes off it. Just change the stone so you thought the truth again.
want, and um, probably will, just make a better job. But just at the moment, we'll see how we get on. We don't want the work to get warm. Well, that's quite a big area, and it's going to absorb a lot of the temperature. So you can see, it's fairly well out of whack. And that was probably giving me the 12 hour difference but on the milling machine when I had to play with it the other day. We'll give it a go. I may have to break the video and wait till we get a little bit further into it because it's going to be a little bit boring. Right, okay, we've uh, got a bit off as you can see, it's about an hour and a half, no, two hours. And uh, it's coming into line quite quickly. So, um, I'll take a little hour and a half to see how we get on. We're moving across to work at about, about 40 thou at a time, so around a millimetre really. Um, you can see by the sparks, this side of the, the stone is doing most of the work. But that's surface strike. We're now catching almost all the way across there, so we're really making some good progress. And uh, on a disc brake, because really they need to be quite true because they'll soon start to vibrate through the steering wheel so I'd expect them to be, you know, definitely within a two now, 10 or 12. Uh, so we'll see how far this one out. At the minute that's 4,000 and uh, it's coming in quite true. No warm finish at all, it's such a big part it's not going to get on. If it's a small part it tends to get quite warm if not careful. Especially at a thou and a half, that's quite an aggressive pull. Well, I think it is anyway. But well, I'm again, I'm no expert. The noise you can hear in the background is the transway buzzing along, powering the uh, surface grinder. There's three motors on it there's a vacuum motor, which is vacuum in here, a spindle motor, and there's another motor in the bottom, which is an hydraulic pump, which is powering the table. And transwaves are quite, quite noisy. That was a brand new one. It's still, it's still noisy. Well, they do the job and the voltage to get us out of trouble. We'll do another thou and a half. Probably even only take 
two tenths of something like that. Just to make perfect. And hopefully, stage two will try on the mill and see how it goes. I doubt that'll be today because I'm at work tonight. So, probably need back to bed for a couple of hours. I'm just laying in the chair. So now it's about 13 minutes, 14 minutes it's taken to do that, which, you know, it does seem a long while, but it's not that long really to make a path with beautiful um, ground to perfection like this. So 20, 25 minutes will, you know, do the job. It's a bit wet, I'm going to give it a bit of a dry down so it doesn't rust. That'll do. Just hope you can see that finish. It's absolutely beautiful. With kill run time, it's just gorgeous. Maybe I ought to do that side as well. We'll see. That's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Say, so, some people would rather a new car than Jones and Shipman. Thanks for watching. <laughs>